Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to yet another great edition of Topic Time with Harrison Young. Got another great guest. Got a few underwriters here. Got to give them some you know, time and give it to them right, you know, fast and furious, but effectively. And here we go. The businesses that are on my show this week. Something for your dust in Plymouth. First time in Plymouth. Smoke and Ashes Tobacco Company corporate office, and they also have Stores in Abington, Hanson, Hanover, Pembroke, Weymouth, and Whitman. T. Martini and Son Flooring in Abington. Clothes Clinic and Dry Cleaning in Whitman, where Topic Time fans get 10% off. MDI Auto Brokers and Repair in Whitman. Big Lee's Automotive in Abington. And Dancer's Dream in Whitman. And I want to thank you guys very much, and now we will start the show. So today we have another actor, a guy who just joined SAG, and he's been and some really important projects, a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff. This is Scott Sedquist. Is that how you say your last Sedquist. name? Sedquist. Okay. I know it's, kind of, uh, it's kind of a mouthful. No, it's okay. Yeah. It sounds cool. So it's an, it's, uh, it sounds kind of like uh, a little bit Lithuanian. Not Lithuanian. What's the one? Scandinavian. Scandinavian. Yeah. Scandinavian. Yep. Yeah, you look Scandinavian. Mm -hmm. I, see, I picked that stuff up. I'm good at it. Okay, so you're, a, you're an actor. You just joined SAG two weeks ago, and, you've, and your projects are really taking off of late, from what I hear. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about some of the, re and we're going to look at a little trailer, by the way. I saw it, and it's, and it's incredible, of a film he ju that, he ju that just came out that he was in. Um, so let's talk about your acting career in general, like, like the most recent projects, and then we're going to like backtrack to your childhood and how you got to where you're at, and then we're going to look at the trailer, and, and that'll be it. So all right, talk about, Scott, you're, a, you're an actor. You're Scott, as, a, as a young kid growing up, you're an actor, you're a film actor. You, you, how did you get into that, that mold? What did you do? So I've always oh, yeah. been I've always been interested in the entertainment industry. I've always been, you know, the, the kid that imitates, you know, the actors in the movies. I'm right. really partial to, to 80s 80s films. And Any particular idols that, you, that stand um, out in your mind? Yeah, you know, I like John Candy a lot. Oh you yeah, know, I always like the John Hughes films. Don't want to be as heavy as he is, but other than that, he's hilarious. Yeah, was hilarious. and um, in 2008, I had an opportunity to uh, do a film. Uh, a girl that I had worked with, her uh, husband was a producer. Cool. And um, I guess I had the look that they were looking for. Talk about the film and who, what, and who was um, the, peop people the, involved? the people involved? The film was called um, Better Days. Okay. And it, it was a, a gritty um, gang film. It, it was filmed in Lynn. And, okay, only um, in Lynn, huh? Yeah. And it so you're saying you never come back the way yeah, you went in. Yeah, it it was around, um, you know, two brothers. Yep. You know, and they grew up in a, in a poor family. And, and you're one and of them? I was. Okay. I was the older brother. And... Um, I was trying to get out of the gang life. My younger brother was getting into the gang life. Wow. And I was trying to, to sway him, you know, from that. And, you know, coincidentally, in the end, I, I'm the one that ends up dying. Wow, cool. So that kind of um, So this is a full length started feature? It. it was. Yeah. Okay, about an hour, yeah. over an hour and a half, you think? Uh, if I remember correctly. Okay, yeah. well, so how long did it take him to shoot it? Um, about a month. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Some of those films take a couple of years, mm -hmm. full length features. And, and where did they, was it, did it make any film festivals or where did they show it? To be honest with you, I'm not completely sure. Okay, but you, you did know? see it though, right? I did, yeah. Let's suppose I wanted to see it on Netflix, could I? Or get it? Get I don't it think it's on Netflix. Uh, I didn't really follow it. YouTube? I didn't follow it. Yeah, somebody actually had reached out to me once, said they had saw it on YouTube. Okay. I tried to find it. I couldn't find it. Yeah. But, you know, first thing that I ever really did. That was your first project. Yes. And, yeah. and basically, you told me your age, and I have to admit, I was surprised. You look considerably younger. So you were already, so at this time you were you were already in your mid twenties. I was. Yeah. I was around wow. Twenty. I was around twenty four. Right. Yeah. Twenty four. Um, but going back to your childhood, I mean, you, you you did you do any acting as a kid? Did you do? Were you were now you look athletic. Did you play sports at all? I played soccer. Okay. Uh, I never really got into the entertainment industry. Okay. Um, until that first project. I see. Okay. Um, and then just from there, I, I just became you know more and more interested in it. You cool. Know, yeah. I mean, why not? You got to get one and ask yeah. all that was. Yeah. Uh, how many how many people in that film do you get? Do you, can you name some of the cast members and stuff? It sounds. Like oh my great. God, no. I mean, it was no. a, I mean a feature film. I, did, it was now, local. It was local talent. Right, it wasn't I understand anybody that. that you'd, they shot yeah. it in Lynn. Now, were these all? Was it supposed to take place in Lynn or just any any a fictitious city in America? Or did they um, mention that? They didn't mention either. They way. didn't. Okay. No. Okay. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So from that, from there, what did you what did you matriculate to from that film? Talk about some more projects you did. Um, okay, so from that film, I, I took kind of a, a little time off, I yep. guess you could say, um, until I really, really decided that this was something that I wanted to do. A couple of years back, I worked with 
a guy named John DePew. Um, I know John. I was in one of his, yeah. couple of his films as well. A, a movie called Angelo's Revenge. Okay. You know, I, I had gone in. Uh, who else was in it? You know, Billy, you know, Billy V was in it. A uh, good friend Billy of mine. Billy V. John. Yeah, I know Billy. Arthur Hugh was in it. You probably know Arthur he was on well. my, He was on my show yep. a couple years ago. And um, I went in, auditioned. You know, he gave, he gave me a, a principal role. Cool. And, and that's kind of, you know, that's what reignited the... The, know, flame for, the, the flame for the action for pa passion for acting. And, ever, and ever since then, I've I've just been trying to get my hands in as much as possible. You know, I do a lot of you know uh, Hollywood movies. You know, okay. just a couple uh, days ago, I worked on uh, Peter Berg's new movie, uh, Wonderland. Okay, talk yeah. about now. Who yeah. is Peter Berg exactly? So Peter Berg is is a Hollywood director. Okay, wow. And okay. Um, he directed Patriots Day. Okay. You know, Mile Twenty Two, and and now he's directing Wonderland. Those are the you know three most recent projects, but. You know, his career dates back to, to the 80s. Right. You know, he, he's been doing this since he was 19. He's done everything from, you know, production assistance to, you know, to, to grips to, to you name it. Right. So last you know. night you were at an event that he was speaking at, right? I was. Okay. I was. What, was, was what was that about? What was so it was a cocktail mixer. Okay. In Boston. Yep. Uh, a lot of the local talent got together. And at the end, uh, it was a question and answer session okay. with him. With him. Okay. Yeah. And, um discussed a little bit about his life, how he became, you know, how he came to, to where he is today. Okay. And, um, you know, kind of opened it up, gave everybody the uh, opportunity to ask him questions, and it was, it was, been awesome. it was insightful to, Very nice. to kind of hear, you know. I saw the pictures you had shared yep. on Facebook, and they were nice. <clears throat> you had some great, Greg, some really awesome people there, nice location. It was in Boston? At a, a, it was. Okay. It was in Boston, yep. Uh, so he's a Hollywood producer. What's he doing in New England, shooting this Wonderland mm -hmm. film? Yep. Okay, are you in it? I, I did have uh, a small, you know, extra role. In okay, it. so this is a big, this is a major film. This is, yeah, Mark Wahlberg is the Wahlberg's lead. Wahlberg's in it too. Is the lead. Yeah. I got you. Okay, cool. Uh, did you work with him at all? Um, not, not okay. personally, you know. No, I understand. But, uh, yeah. Okay, but you're in a film with him, and that's pretty impressive. Yeah, you gotta really be, you know, you gotta be up there. To, well, you're working, and yeah. you're getting it done. This yep. is important stuff, and you're on, you know, and you're well on your way to that to that plateau, mm -hmm. and that's and that's the way you gotta think. Okay, so this is, is this your first project with him? With Peter Berg? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. What about other major films? Okay. Um, a couple of years ago, I was in Daddy's Home too. Oh, okay, right. Yep, yep. You were, was... the, were you in the department store with Arthur? No, no, no. I was in the, uh, the, I movie, saw it. the movie theater scene. Okay. I was actually You, you were probably Usher. with Mary Beth Paul, right? Yep, yep. Paul, me and yeah. Mary, me and Mary Beth worked side by side, you know, the entire movie. Right. Uh, she played uh, the movie theater manager. I played a movie theater usher. Okay. And I have a, a very featured role. Uh, where I get to interact, you know, with with Mark Wahlberg and you oh, know, so you really did it. So you did work, work with Wahlberg. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah, you know, no, you know, no, no verbiage was exchanged. But, was but um, talking to him and stuff. Yeah, but Probably. it was it was very fun. You know, I got to got to you know hang out with Mel Gibson and John Lithgow yeah. and wow. all, all those guys. Um, so it was, it was very enjoyable. Sure. Um, I was also in you know the movie Detroit. Yeah, talk about that a little bit. I, I should so, know it. Yeah, so Detroit was me. filmed uh, a couple years ago. And you say the truth. Detroit. Detroit. Detroit, the city. Detroit, okay. Detroit. Ahead, you know, right. by Catherine Bigelow. Right, I understand. And that was about the, you know, the 67 Detroit riots. Yes. Um, I was I 10, got, I remember them. Yeah. I was 8, actually, but I do remember them. I got upgraded okay. to a, a really featured role as a police officer where I got to walk out onto a, a stage in a, in a Motown concert scene and, you know, whisper into the you know, into the uh, the guy that played the stage manager's, cool. you know, ear and, you know, oh, you know, get everybody out of the, you know, the riots are outside, yada, yada, yada. So this was a scene where you were, yeah. you were involved in a concert going on where there were riots happening outside. Yes. It's interesting you should say that because I live in Brockton and they just, a couple of years ago, did a, a movie about Detroit using downtown Brockton as a backdrop. Doesn't say much for downtown Brockton, but it says... That's, well, that's <laughs> the movie. Right, yeah. exactly. But that's, but, but it was a great... It was a great tax uh, addition to the city, you know, for the, for, for, you know, for Brockton. Mm -hmm. And I, I could have possibly been in it. I, I've been in some films too. I was in Shutter Island, oh, okay. played a mental patient role. I was born mm -hmm. to play, worked directly with Scorsese. First film was Amistad in 1997. But I felt that going that, that you know to downtown Brockton to be in a film was kind of just it wasn't my style. So I never went down there. But they did have a lot of people, in the, you know, from the area. I guess I don't want to be cast as a near the well. Maybe, I mean, I don't mind it. It wouldn't be so bad if I really thought it was just, you know, to get paid some real money and have a real opportunity. But as an extra in a near the well, I wouldn't be, that's not my thing. 
So, now you're, you're a rough and tumble looking guy, so you obviously don't have those are the kind of roles you've been given, mm -hmm. working either, either as a gang, gang guy or a cop or something like that. And, um, ever play an athlete in a film? No. No, because that would no. be that looks like a good role for you. Yeah, I would say that I'm pretty versatile. Yes, you know, yeah. I'd you know I'd be willing to think outside the box and and open up to you know to, to any role that was was presented to me. You know, you, you have to be of course you know very versatile in this industry to to get work. Right. You know, so um, that that opportunity you know where I could play the sensitive guy has not come up yet, but. Uh, I'm, I'm well, sure that I. I'd well, you will. You'll be. You'll, well, when it does, that'll be. That'll be me matriculating onto more stuff, because you. Because you definitely have that look that you could be. You know, rugged but sensitive, but so far it's just been rugged stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yep. But, it, but that'll come in time. I. Yep. I don't see how it couldn't. Now, what about other things? Have you, do you do anything else in entertainment? Do you write anything? Do you? No. Nope, no. Nope. Do you any music at all? No, I, I have uh, no musical talent. No musical whatsoever, talent whatsoever, okay. and I'm not as much interested in, in writing as I am. Just, be, just being in front of a camera. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ever been on, ever been interviewed before on other TV shows? Nope. This is the first. Oh man, what an honor. Yeah. Okay. Ever been in any commercials? Uh, I've done a couple. Commercials. You mentioned something about the Stop and Shop plaque. What's that about? You're on your your mug is on the cover of the National Stop and Shop. So uh, yeah. What do they call so it? placard or whatever. So a couple years ago, um, I did a project. So the 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 Stop and Shop training manual that they use to train. You know all of the stop and shop employees. I'm oh, no kidding. Okay. You know, so I'm like the I never face, worked there, so I don't see the. I never think you know, I see the manual, but yeah. I know I'm sure. Like it's the, a big the guy one. in the book, you know, oh, the guy that's you know, it. this is how you properly carry a box. You okay. know, this is how you bend over and pick up, you know, spilled broken jar or, okay. or, or whatnot. You okay, know? so, so you pick, that's pretty good. So I, yeah. I guess you call that print work. Did yes. You, did you get paid good for that? Uh, I got okay. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now. Um, Let's talk about this this new trailer that you, that we're going to look at. Uh, we'll talk about that film a little bit. And then okay. We'll look at the trailer. All right. Uh, so the movie's called Human Resources. Okay. And the trailer just came out uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, it has Aaron Wilson in it. Yep. And uh, really cool guy. Just he was on just, my show. Just moved out to Are L.A. You talking about American Who, Aaron Wilson. I'm sorry. The guy in the American Who, the, the musician as well as the singer. Uh, no, I, mean, I don't no, think this is the same Aaron Wilson. No, it's not the same yeah, one. This okay. is a younger Aaron, like kid. A A R O N. Yeah, this is a younger kid. He's probably in his early twenties. His name is his name's African American. Well, it's not Aaron. It's Aaron. Aaron A A R O N. Oh, oh God, different yep. person. Yep. Okay. Wow. And uh, he's he's the lead in okay. it, and and I I don't want to give too much away. That's fine. But um, you know, it's basically just a, a day in the life of uh, his crazy work environment. Right. Paul Kandarian is in the movie as well. Oh, um, great Paul. Yeah. Great guest on my show twice. Very funny. He very also funny. wrote a great article on the Globe about my show. Mm -hmm. Wow. So uh, I just play, you know, one of the employees yeah. in the office. Yep. Again, I don't want to give away too much, but it's it's funny. I think people will get a laugh out of They will. And at that moment, why don't, this, as we're talking about it, why don't we pause for a minute and watch the trailer? Right. So without Sounds further ado, there's the trailer, and we'll get back on track in a minute. Enjoy it. First team meeting today. You ready? I guess. Okay, now, uh, I think a lot of us are meeting David Bryce for the first time. He's been with us for about three weeks. God damn, David! That's some serious gourmet shit! That was Samuel L. Jackson from Pulp Fiction. Oh. Dude, I am gonna send you a sweet pick. New ass. What's up, newbie? Oh! Are you okay, Carl? I appear to be in some... distress. Oh, that's tough. Is there anything I can get for you? Not at the moment. But thank you so much for asking. That was a, that was some trailer. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, thank I saw you. it already. But... Yeah, some pretty girls in that film. Mm -hmm. we'll have to get them on the show. Yep, yeah. If, if they see this, they see this. Yeah, I, the, the model that you saw, her name is Tina Bell. She's actually a very accomplished uh, model. Okay. In the New England area. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Are, are you now? Are you friends with any of these people personally, or just just worked with them? Um, I'm sure that you could call them. You know the. Well, I reach out to people on Facebook, family. left and right. Yeah. Okay. You know, a lot of the people that I work with, we don't go out and have you know 
beers right. you know, on, the, on the weekends, but, you know, there are people that I can say, you know, we definitely have a good, you know, acquaintanceship with. Of course. Um, and whenever we're on set, you know, okay. we have a great time and we can text or, or whatnot, yeah. Okay, so talk about the, the, the projects you've done between the 2008 film that you, that you did in, in Lynn and, and the one you just did that just came out. What, what other, other projects have you been involved in since then, in between? Like say between you know in the last ten years. Yeah, so as many get as talked about as many as you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know I've done a lot of uh, feature background work and in a lot oh. of the Hollywood movies. You know oh. we discussed Detroit. Right. Um, there were a couple others. Uh, Catcher was a spy. Okay. Are you familiar with that? That had Paul Rudd in it. Okay. That was about uh, Mo Berg. He was a CIA agent before the CIA was the CIA. Okay. And he was also a catcher for the Red Sox. Okay, is that a true story then? Yeah. So we're talking what the fifties? Oh uh, no, keep going. The Forty thirties. The thirties. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So a dated thing. Mm -hmm. Great. So period period pieces are always fun. Yeah. You can get all gussied up. Um, I just worked on Little Women. Oh, Little Little, you? No, oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. A lot of pretty girls and Little Women, at least yeah. in the with the Winona Ryder version. Yep, well, tell one, me, I, that's amazing. That, so, tell, who did you play in Little Women? Not Larry, the boy, the guy named Larry. Uh, you know, there's a guy named Larry in that. To be honest with you, I've never seen the movie. Oh, you, you haven't? Well, yeah, book, but they gave you. The you've already worked on it. What did you? All right, who did you play in it? So, I uh, was um, uh, a guy in a train station. Okay. You know, so and this was the 1830s or 1800s or something. I mean, in, this was the, the 18, Concord, Mass. 1850s, I believe. Okay, right. All right, 1850s, but it's yeah. Concord. Um, that's a, that's where I it believe, takes place. I know that. Yeah. Again, I've never read the book. Not too much of a reader myself. Oh well. Yeah. You might want to read a little more because you could, you know what you because some of the if you read some of the some books on some of the films that you could be in, you you could get a heads up on more roles and stuff. Mm -hmm. and in other words, when you get I'm trying to give advice to my guests that'll help them out and down the line. So let's say for instance, there's a you know, if you keep track of books that maybe been made into films because they're long enough but they've never been. If you read them, then they have some. You know, if you at least skim them, or something. Read, you know, get a little, you know, a little bit of a, of a background idea of what's the film, what the film would be about. Then you might find you might have an easier time auditioning for a role and landing it. That's all. Maybe so. Yeah, you should. Yeah, read, reading's a good thing to do. But you know, it's up to you. Yeah. But all right. So um, what did you? So what did you do? So uh, just in a, a train station scene. Okay. You know, uh, you know Bob Odenkirk, uh, Laura Dern, Sasha Ronan. Okay. Um, you know, there's just an exchange, you know, between them. Um, I worked on Castle Rock. Okay, was that? I know, I should know that. Don't, Castle Rock. Um, familiarize me with it. That's the Stephen. That's the Stephen King. Okay. Okay. I swear, uh, when I went to the the casting call for that, I could have sworn that I actually had saw you up in Orange Mass. I, I thought I saw you, you did walking down the street. Yeah, I, yeah, I was in. I was there that day. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, I, I had fun on that. I, I just played a deputy, you okay. know, in, in a police station. Uh, so, let me see. Um, and just other, I can't think of anything else on the top of my head, but, you know, I just, whenever something comes to town, you know, I do it. Um, I'm actually uh, part of a couple modeling agencies as well. So okay, I, male model? Um, well, I, I, well, let me ask you this. I, <laughs> well, that that doesn't, doesn't sound too. Uh, no, there's not. Listen, there's yeah. male models. Mm -hmm. I've had plenty of female models, but there, there's guys still that model. Mm -hmm. I've interviewed a couple of them once. I was on a, on a remote shoot a few years ago. Oh, okay. Well, well, all right. Well, does the modeling agency got any filming work as well? Uh, yeah, I've, done, I've done a couple commercials. I've done yeah, a couple okay. of Sam Adams commercials. Oh, really? Okay. Oktoberfest. Sure. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I did a, I did a um, Sears commercial, but that was actually cast by by Boston Casting. Okay. I wonder if I wonder if it's going to come out in lieu of everything that's happened with Sears so far. In lieu of everything that's happened. Oh, with Sears being Sears, like the closing. Sears, yeah. Sears is kaput. Maybe too late. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But but that was that was a really fun project. When did you do that? This year? Uh, Recently? Uh, a month and a half ago. Wow, that is that is kind of unusual considering that they are closing yeah, pretty soon. Yeah. I, I heard a rumor that it was that it was going to be a, the commercial for Black Friday, and um, I, I tried to find it, I couldn't find it. Wow. What about the Sam Adams commercial? What did you play in that? A guy in a bar? So the Sam Adams commercial was actually a tailgating party. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I just played. At Gillette, maybe. One of the guys at the tailgating party. Would you? Would they shoot it? Oh. I mean, it wasn't Gillette, was it? At a real no, Pats game? No, it was out in Western Mass. Okay. Yeah, it was, cool. it was far. Yeah, that's yeah. good, though. Wow. Okay. So you belong to, you're on Boston Casting's mailing list. You belong, and what are the modeling agencies that you're affiliated with, too? Uh, 
NEMG, yep. uh, and WSM. Okay. I know what NEMG is in New Hampshire. They're great. They're definitely, I'm, I, I actually uh, did, a, did an audition for them too. So they probably have me in the database. They've never given me any work, but mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that's, that, you know, that they're giving them great work too. They're totally up front and above board and everything. What's that, and what's the other one? Uh, WSM. What's that stand for? Uh, you know, if not, that's they're fine. They're at Newburyport. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's pretty awesome. So you got plenty of, you got plenty of people, you know, that got your back for, mm -hmm. for projects and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ever, ever do stand-up comedy or anything I like haven't. that? I haven't. No. You, now, let me ask you this. You know, so far, what you're telling, I mean, that, the film you just did that we saw the trailer, that's probably the most comedic role you've ever had, would you say? Yes. Okay. Yes. And yeah. would, you, would you like more comedic roles? I would, I would. I, I'd like to, you know, get outside the box, show people what I'm really capable of. Yeah, exactly. Know, not just, uh, not just uh, a tough guy, you know. I know, so, exactly. Yeah. So what about the idea of maybe trying to write, a, you know, a, a, like a short script for a film and seeing see what happens? At least see how creative you can be. Mm -hmm. you, you know, if you... If, I mean, what's, what do you got to lose? A couple of hours sitting in, a, you know, sitting in your word process to seeing if you can come up with an idea and, and outlining it and maybe building on it, if, if not the case. I mean, show it, you, I mean, you've obviously worked with a lot of big names, I mean, pre people that produce stuff. If you created a, a script that looked interesting, they might take a look at it. At the very least, you got nothing to lose by and trying it. I to Sylvester Stallone, so, yeah. you know, yeah, look okay. where he is. Well, guess what? We get, we're down to the final five minutes of the show. Mm -hmm. Uh, I hope you had fun, and I hope we covered, you know, between that and the trailer, we hope we covered most of the stuff you've done since you've been in, you know, in this, in the inundated in the film industry. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do in the remaining time is give shouts out to people that are going to see the show, because there's going to be a lot of them, so just kind of condense them. Look, look at the light and say, parents, family, yeah, kids, um, whatever. First off, I'd like to give a shout out to my girlfriend, Tamara. There I'm you sure go. If I didn't say her first, she'd wring my neck. Um, my father. Yeah, we'll up, get, we'll up, get, we'll up, up, I'll upload the uh, trailer to, to this email to this station, right? Is yeah. that what you told me? Yeah, yeah, he helped me out. You, he, you know, he got it off of Facebook. I have absolutely no, no idea how to do that. And uh, I don't want to name drop, you know, I don't want to leave anybody out, but all the, uh, you know, family members in the entertainment industry, in the New England entertainment industry that I work with on a regular basis. Okay. You know, some close, some I'm closer with than others. That's but, sure. uh but yeah, everybody knows. Everybody has each other's back. Of course. And uh, everybody, you know, enjoys each other, enjoys each other's company. So as it should be. Yeah. So what does the future look like for Scott Sedwick? What's what do you think next? You know, here we are at the end of 2018. What is what does the beginning of 2019 look like for you? So uh, I am planning on taking that step to LA. Okay. You know, I, I really you know, would like to do that. Um, that's one of the main reasons that I that I did pull the trigger on SAG. Okay, you know, that's you, right. You, you just joined SAG, and that's a big step, a, huge step, big little, step little ever. A while before you go out there, you don't get eaten up. You know what I mean? Right. Um, and just you know, I'm planning on going out there with, within the next year and seeing what I can do. You okay. Know, seeing what you know, seeing what kind of. Uh, well, that guy Peter Burke. Like, I mean, yeah. you're, yeah. He's, he's 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 he could be a connection for you, right? Because you know him. I, I would, you know. I mean, do you I know? Do you have any other people out there that you know that, that you might be able to meet up with? Are you just going to go out there no, cold no. and see what you can do? I, I you know, I, I just, I, I just want to, you know, clarify. It. I, I couldn't, you know, personally call Peter Berg, you know, and say, oh, hey, you know, I don't know him like that. Right. You know, he, he'd recognize my face. You know, okay. I've seen him, you know, a handful of times, and I've worked on a couple of his movies. You know, easier said than done. Getting right. in. You know, getting in good with you know somebody as successful as Peter Berg. Okay, right. You know, to you know to to increase your you know your talent and, and you know your range in, in movies. So it takes work. It's a long road. It does, of course. You know, absolutely. Um, a lot of stumbling blocks and a lot of rejection. Well, I'll tell you what. I hope my show's going to help you know get you mm -hmm. somewhere. And what what credits do you have on IMDb already? Just the the, the those films that you talked about. Um, that you're aware there's, of? Yeah, there's some films that uh, that I discussed, and I know that there's a handful that I'm forgetting. Okay. Um, you, you get a picture of yourself on IMDb, so when I open it up, I'll see you. Well, you can just type in my name. I know that. I'll Scott, type in your name. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an easy, it's a, it's a unique, unique name, so. I'm the only Scott Sederquist on IMDb. Oh, you are? Perfect. Then I'll make it easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, that's yeah. cool. So check it out. Oh, I will. Don't, I'm going well, to put the show up on IMDb, and when I do, if, it, it's always good when I have someone that's on the show that's already got IMDb credits. Because that's a that's a comp compilation of mm -hmm. credits. Yeah. They, it, it helps us. It helps both of us. It helps because it's you know you got I get I get it makes my it makes my ratings rise and it makes you you know 
yours too because you got more stuff on IMDb that that other people have. So IMDb is kind of like a a shared benefit for you know everybody in the entertainment industry. You know, yeah. okay. It's when you go out to Calvin, you, you go out to Hollywood. You bring your girlfriend, or you leave in the back here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just curious if you want. I don't want to answer. She's coming that. along. She's, she's good. Because yeah. she's for inspiration. Yeah. Does she do any acting at all? She oh. doesn't. She's actually a professional salsa dancer. Okay. Yeah. Well, what about the possibility of creating like a you know using maybe she could like do something in a salsa is big now dancing salsa. It is. It's very big. Yeah. Yeah. I mean she. I mean I'm telling you it might. I'm just the idea of creating maybe of creating a script where you where you know some, somehow you're in a background you're in a backdrop scene of her, her salsa dancing with other people. It might be. It would definitely be a hook in for something. I don't know what. It just sounds like it would be. Mm -hmm. But that's again. That's up to you to try and, you know, think if think, think it through. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you had a good time with me tonight. I hope you know. I hope we covered everything from, you know, from beginning beginning to end. And uh, and I, I want to thank you for being on my show. You were a great guest. And we're gonna wrap it up. Are you ready to jiggy with it? Some people, some guests do it at the end. Hey, uh, you can you can do it. Right. Yeah. All right, folks. Enjoy more episodes of Topic Time. See you next time. Take care. There we go. There you go. You got rhythm. Long song. So you don't do music, but you do got the rhythm.